certainly the, what I think are the best traders in the world. Um, most of them are not common uh, names. Um, they like to be quiet. They're trading large amounts of money. They don't want to be followed. But that being said, they do share common traits, which and the, the biggest thing is um, they have set rules. They know themselves intimately. They know their strengths. They know their weaknesses. They never break their rules when they do. They take a time out, clear their head, get back to business. Um, this trading is a business. It's not fun time. You know, when things are going well, you, you can't be doing the happy dance. It's, you know, it's all about, you know, adhering to the rules and, uh, and never breaking them. And I've seen uh, some traders uh, that, that would have worked for me, um, you know, when I, when, I, when I ran stuff at institutions, ran large trading desks. Um, you'd see guys lose their edge and lose their ability to manage themselves and completely fall apart and never, and never catch it again. For most of them, it's two things. It's the, that they, they have a solid money management uh, stop. That you can take a random position, and if you analyze the market correctly and use good money management, you can make money. Now, sometimes the best trade was just to exit right at the opening. But, you know, that's a lesson you have to learn. The other thing that they have, and I think it's just become more and more, I've seen it become more and more important um, as I've taught people, is risk-reward. How much are you risking? potentially when you put on the trade and then afterwards doing the analysis and say how much did I actually make versus how much